Okay, it is the first Friday in Lent, and it is time for the first fish fry of the year. There's a lot of ice out here, so I gotta be careful, but today I am here at Elwood Fire Department for their annual fish fry. It's $15. Do they have a great meal here? Let's carefully get inside and find out what they have to offer. Okay, so our dinner has arrived. Came pretty quickly. They brought it right to the table. So it looks like we have a piece of fish there, which is underneath some rye bread, tartar sauce, and a lemon wedge. We have some coleslaw and potato salad. And interesting, there are no french fries. I wasn't given the option of potato. It didn't come with french fries. So very interesting. So that was 15. I paid an extra dollar for the Pepsi, so 16 and we'll give it a shot. Okay, so here is our fish. You can see it's definitely quite meaty. I think you can see that okay. And it's definitely hot and steamy. It's a narrow piece. It's interesting, it's like long and narrow, but you can see it's packed full with meaty fish inside. So I'm pretty excited to taste. So I'm gonna do this without the tartar sauce first and, and see what we have. And, and that's definitely pretty good. It um, has a very thick breading and it adheres to the fish nicely. It's hot, uh, has a good flavor all the way through, it's not dried out or anything like that, so, so far so good on the fish. Okay, next up we have this potato salad here, which is very yellow as you can see. So I'm assuming this is gonna be mustard-based. Definitely is mustard-based, and we'll go ahead and give this a shot. It was really uh, creamy and tasty. Now, I don't know if they make it in-house. Maybe I'll find out later if I see someone, but it was definitely creamy and tasty, and I was pretty happy that it was a mustard base. You don't see that all too often. So the fish has been good. The potato salad's been good. All that's left is the coleslaw, because there's no macaroni salad, and like I said, there's no french fries, which is definitely interesting. But go ahead and give it a shot. There's that coleslaw, very creamy. Definitely mayonnaise in there. So we'll go ahead and we'll give this a shot, and let you know what I think. Yeah, it's very good. It's very fresh. It's creamy, cool, refreshing, so everything's pretty good. So I'm gonna go ahead and finish the meal and then come back and let you know about what I think. All right, so we are back in the car. A little throwback to the drive-through COVID days, but it's cold outside and it's very icy, and so I wanted to sit inside the car to do my final review of what I thought about the Elwood Fire Department dinner. And I thought it was really good. For $15, you saw all the food that you got. You got that nice, big, meaty piece of fish. You had coleslaw, you had a potato salad, you had rye bread, you had a lemon. It was interesting that they did not serve french fries. Now I asked if that was just a one-year thing or what happened and they said they used to do hand-cut fries but for whatever reason they've moved away from that which is fine. French fries are my least favorite part of the dinner. It also included a nice uh, dessert spread as you saw. I went with the chocolate cake. I spent one extra dollar to get that can of Pepsi but they also had coffee and tea available which I was not charged for. So what did I think overall? Like I said, I think it was very good. I thought the fish was very flaky and it was warm. It came super quick. By the time I sat down, the server was already over there, which were members of the fire department and their family. And they brought that food right over. So it was hot, it was ready to eat. And I was appreciative of that. You didn't have to sit there and wait all day long. I was uh, seated with some friends of mine from my church as well, which was really great to have that conversation. As I always say, it's all about the community at these fish fries. It's not just about the dinner itself. It's the atmosphere. It's the connection you have with other people. Uh, they do make the coleslaw in-house. I did ask about that, and that was very good. And the potato salad is something that is provided to them. They expect to serve today 550 dinners. They did say on their Facebook uh, page that it is sold out today. And so I asked them what that number was, and they estimate that's going to be about 550 dinners. That's really great. Unfortunately, it's the only time they're doing it during Lent. They don't have another uh, fish fry scheduled for the rest of this year. But if they do it again next year, I highly recommend that you come out. What's my final score here of the Elwood Fire Department fish fry? 
all things considered, it was, you know, one less side because obviously it didn't have the French fries. Uh, it was $15, which I think is going to be the average price this year, but it did not include a, a drink, although it did include a dessert. This is Future Ed coming to you from the future. And I wanted to interrupt this video for a second to let you know I had a really hard time reviewing this dinner. I think it might be the hardest dinner to review on the entire channel so far. And the reason for that, the lack of french fries. Now, if you've been following the channel for any length of time, you know that french fries are my least favorite part of the dinner. In fact, I believe it's the part that usually gets done the worst because they can either be mushy or they can be soggy or they're not done enough. Uh, they're usually frozen french fries and so they just don't have a whole lot of flavor. But its absence today was noticeable. I think many people are going to a fish, a fish fry expecting to have fish and french fries. And so the lack of them are probably going to be something that may turn people off from that dinner. So I wanted to make sure I shared that appropriately, which I don't think I captured in the first video, at least the first part of the video that I cut out. Because for me, the choice of sides that I had were perfect, but not everybody wants just coleslaw and potato salad. Now it does include a dessert, and you saw the great table of desserts there, and I would rather have those homemade desserts and some crappy old french fries. So for me, it was perfect, but for you, it may not be. And I wanna settle on a happy medium, or what I think is a happy medium, recognizing that some people require french fries, others are happy to forego them. So I'm gonna settle on a solid nine for Elwood Fire Department. If you agree, if you disagree, list those down in the comments for me. I also have a poll on my channel right now. Are french fries a required item at a fish fry? I would love for you to vote on that. Let me know what your thoughts are on that. But I'm gonna settle at a nine for Elwood because the fish was really good. Everyone I was with said the fish tasted really good. And ultimately, that's the most important part of the dinner. Back to the video. All right, that's it for the first fish fry of the year. We got plenty more to go. Make sure you're subscribed. If you liked this video, go ahead and please give me a, a big thumbs up. It really helps me out. Make sure you subscribe so you don't miss any of these other fish fry adventures. And until next time, see you later.